it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a new video and cosplay reveal. But first, I want to thank you so much for all the love on my last Lady Dimitrescu video, which hit over a million views somehow. I legit never thought that I would ever hit over a million views on any video ever. So thank you so much for helping me reach that goal. This video today is not only a cosplay transformation, but also a pleasure project of my newest obsession, building cosplay photo sets. After a year of cosplaying in quarantine, I set aside a permanent spot in my warehouse to build photo sets for my cosplay shoots, and it has completely revitalized my creativity. In this video, I'll show you how I put together my latest photo set, and I'll take you through the full photo shoot as well. The theme of my cosplay today is one of my favorite manga slash anime ever, Kimetsu no Yaiba or Demon Slayer. The hype for the recent Mugen Train movie made me reread and rewatch the entire series recently, and I have literally been stuck in Demon Slayer hell. So of course I decided to cosplay Kibizuji Muzan the ultimate villain of Demon Slayer, the progenitor of demons, the most powerful and terrifying demon in the world. I have a really weird way to process my feelings for anime. My goal for this photo shoot is to capture Muzan's sinister yet regal energy and bring the character and lore to life. Make sure to stay until the end of the video for the full cosplay showcase, but for now, let's start building the set. Right off the bat, I got really lucky. I found an antique Japanese room divider on Facebook Marketplace. I use a bamboo mat from Amazon to substitute the tatami mat look. One day I'll invest in real tatami. For the flooring, I got three rolls of fake wood wallpaper that simply peel and stick. The spiderweb backdrop came from AliExpress and I used it to hide the metal bay door and extend the set upward. The space across is about 10 feet, and I try to cover as much of the ground as possible. Then it was time for the hero piece, the screen divider. This thing was so heavy that I wasn't much help to Brian at all. It is solid wood with intricate crane carvings, and I think the gold paint might actually be gold? I found a small tea table on Amazon last year that I love using for Japanese-themed photos. I also ordered a few paper umbrellas online, but only two came in so far. Paper lanterns are super cheap and a visually interesting decor, so I used a bunch of them for this shoot. On day two of the set build, we first hung a bunch of fabric on either side of the room. I just grabbed sheer fabrics from my vast material stash and attached them with hooks and gaffers tape. No accidents so far. I like my sets to have dimension, to look like there are layers of decor, so we hung another set of red fabric at the front of the room, closer to the camera. Now it's starting to look like a room. I ordered two pre-owned shoji paper lamps on eBay, which are kind of hard to find actually, but they instantly added a nice atmosphere to the set. With the main components in place, I spent the rest of the day arranging the umbrellas and lanterns, just trying to make the room look nice. And I also reused some white lanterns from a previous photo shoot. The sakura branches lived in my craft room for a long time, but I really like bringing them out for photos. Day 3 was very exciting because the rest of my umbrellas arrived. These came from a Japanese shop on eBay and they are so pretty. And we got another surprise too. I thought that I was done. Then I found a really good deal on some additional set pieces. Bamboo and a dragon screen. They were both really cheap, about 20 bucks on the Facebook marketplace and I couldn't resist. So let's get them added to the set. The dragon screen is damaged. So I put it behind the sheer fabric to cover up the bare wall a bit. I moved everything you see about six times on that day. Oh, I just taped up this cheap AliExpress tapestry and it actually made a big difference on that side. All right, let's take a look. We got the tapestry and bamboo on one side, then the umbrellas, our table with props. Yes, we got all the props. The flooring looks good and all the lanterns give nice detailing all the fabrics and the screens, and then the spider web. 
All right, I think the set is done. It's the day before the big Kibutsuchi Muzan photo shoot, and I'm here in a test makeup, and we're gonna do a lighting test. Some mood lighting. This is always the part that I'm the most nervous about. I have visions for how the photo shoot should look, but I do not know how to light it. I always do a lighting test the day before so that I have an idea of what to do on the day of when I'm in costume and can't move around very well. For this shoot, Brian and I really pushed outside our comfort zone. We put two RBG lights behind the umbrellas, and we also had three remote flashes with red color gel going. Here are some test photos with flash and with ambient lighting. You have no idea how relieved I was to see the test photos. What I had in my mind was working. With that, I was ready for my big photo shoot and it was time to become Muzan. I wanna thank Doki Doki Cosplay for sending me the Muzan costume and wig, which I styled a bit, and Onyx Nails design for the press on nails. I'm used to making my own cosplays, but since I put all the effort into building the set for this photo shoot, I didn't really wanna make the costume as well. I did spend multiple days making paper spider lily flowers because I wanted to pose with them. World of Gwendana came by to take some shots as well, we used ambient lighting from the softbox and light stick for more intimate portraits. It was a very long photo shoot that ended around 1 a.m. I think, but we got all the shots we wanted and I'm really happy to present the final results. Enjoy. to do. I hope fans of Demon Slayer can appreciate what we were going for, and for those who haven't watched the show yet, maybe this video will get you interested. I really love doing fully immersive photos and video projects like this because uh, it's another way to geek out and bond with the characters and the shows. It's been so much fun transforming my little warehouse corner into these different environments for these characters to come alive in. I have learned so much about photography and editing in the last few months and I can't thank Brian enough for going along with all my crazy ideas. My sets keep escalating in detail and scope, so who knows what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> By the way, please tell Funimation to hire me to promote season two of Demon Slayer because I got ideas. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. This type of video takes a long time to make, so I really appreciate your support. Spoiler alert for my next video. For Muzan, I made these Higambana flowers, these blue and red spider lily flowers, which are known as the anime death flowers, and they turned out so nice that my next video will be a full tutorial on how you can make them. It will be uploaded very soon, I'm editing right now. Let me know in the comments what kind of photo set I should build next or what kind of creative video you'd like to see next. Until next time, happy crafting. We just got done with the Muzan photo shoot. Thanks so much, Brian. Thanks so much, Kyle, World of Gwendana. And thank you, Jesse, for assisting. And I'm lisping a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again. That one was good. Let's try that again. <laughs> I didn't even open it all. <laughs>
failure. It makes, it makes me feel better. I can't see it anymore, so I hope it was You're good. <laughs> You're just gonna do a little bit of a movement and just kind of hold on me. I'm not hungry and I have fangs on and I can't take my fangs out until I've taken these off and then when Jesse <laughs> leaves I can't really take these off. So just open a soylent for me and I'll just drink the soylent. Uh, I don't know. We could we could kind of do a callback to the Resident Evil shot where it's just a shot of me doing this to the skull. That was it. That's a one-time deal. Oh, perfect. <laughs> that was it. That was it.